Okay, job seekers, there is only one place that you need to upload your resume on LinkedIn. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how, but I'm also going to give you an insider tip on how you can really stand out on LinkedIn to get noticed and get hired. Let's get started. But first, for all the guidance you need to get hired, subscribe to my channel. I post weekly content that will help you along every step on your journey toward landing your dream job. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. I know that you are going to find this video useful, so make sure that you click that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified whenever I drop a new video. I don't want you to miss a beat. As a resume and LinkedIn writer, as well as a coach, I help people daily spruce up their LinkedIn profiles to be found for new opportunities. And today, I want to share with you some crucial information that you have to know when considering uploading your resume onto LinkedIn. So before I show you the only place that you need to upload your resume on LinkedIn, there is something that I want to address. I've seen many people upload their resumes to the featured section on LinkedIn, but also to the media section of work experience. And I've also heard many career professionals give this advice. And although the choice is ultimately up to you, here are a few things that you need to consider when thinking about uploading your resume to LinkedIn. First, your LinkedIn profile is public or semi-public. So if you upload your resume to the featured section, which is the front page of your LinkedIn profile, you lose control because number one, you're giving everybody access to your email, your address, and your phone number. Also, another thing to remember is that your resume should be tailored specifically for the roles that you want to apply to. Uploading a standard resume to the front of your LinkedIn profile is not giving you an opportunity to showcase yourself as an ideal candidate for a certain position. And lastly, when you upload your resume to the front of your LinkedIn profile, you are giving your current employer notice that you are open to new opportunities. Also, it may come across as being desperate. Employers want people on their team and they want to hire people that are in demand or that other companies want too. So by uploading your resume to the front of your LinkedIn profile, it can sometimes diminish that perception. Okay, so now I want to show you the only place that you should upload your resume on LinkedIn, and that is in the Easy Apply section. This lets you upload your resume to the back of LinkedIn, where it's only viewable by specific people when you apply for roles through LinkedIn Jobs. Here's exactly how to upload your resume through Easy Apply. So I'm going to head over to my LinkedIn profile, I'm going to go to the top right hand corner and click on me. I'm going to go to settings and privacy. On the left hand side, I'm going to scroll over to job seeking preferences, job application settings. I'm going to click change. And here I can see the resumes that I've uploaded in the past. So what I want to do is upload my resume here. I'm going to click upload resume. I'm going to look for my resume. I see Cindy Makita resume and click open. And now it's uploaded my most current resume directly to the back end of LinkedIn. So when I'm applying for jobs in the LinkedIn jobs tab or section, it will let me easily upload my resume to that specific job. And this is the only place that I encourage you to upload your resume. So this again is the only place where you want to upload your resume on LinkedIn. It's at the back end of LinkedIn. You have control as to who sees it based on the jobs that you apply for. Great. So you've uploaded your resume through the Easy Apply section. And now I want to give you a bonus tip. LinkedIn users can actually go onto your profile and download your LinkedIn profile in PDF format. So if an employer or recruiter comes across your profile, they can easily download your LinkedIn profile, which tells them your work history, your education and your skills and they can use this as a resume. That is why it is so important that you completely optimize your profile from top to bottom in the event that an employer comes across your profile and downloads it as a PDF. Also, creating your profile that is highly searchable with keywords 
all allow you to be found by recruiters on the platform, doubling or even tripling your chances of getting noticed for opportunities. Uploading your resume to LinkedIn is just one piece of a larger puzzle in landing your dream job. I want to show you the step-by-step -step process that you should take on how to be a stand-up candidate to get noticed for opportunities and to get hired. So download my free guide, The Standout Candidate Toolkit, so you can learn my secret strategies and steps to ultimately land your dream job. A link to the download is in the description of this video. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more job search tips and advice on how to be a standout candidate and land your dream job. Comment any questions that you have below this video and I will see you in the comments. Bye for now.